Hey guys, welcome back for another must-have recipe in Nati's Vegan Kitchen. So I hope you guys had an amazing Thanksgiving and if you had a chance to make any of my dishes, I'd love to see what you made and see pictures. Um, feel free to, even if you don't have any pictures, just leave me a comment down below and let me know what you made. I'm curious, especially if anybody made the mac and cheese. Um, I really think that's a really different recipe, so I think if somebody made it, I feel like it would be a huge hit, so I'd love to know. We had a nice Friendsgiving. Uh, if you don't know, I live in LA, so um, it's kind of expensive for me to travel on the holidays for both Thanksgiving and Christmas. So we usually have a Friendsgiving in my house, and we had lots of friends, we ate a lot of food, So, which takes me to this video because Post Thanksgiving, I promised that I would make some really good detoxing recipes because as you know, you probably ate a lot of food. So now it's time to digest all of that and get back, you know, a little bit back into the groove of things um, between now and Christmas. So I thought we would make some really good detoxifying soups. So I'm not a nutritionist or a doctor or anything of those sorts, I just like to cook. <laughs> but I do have a really good tool called Google, so I wanted to check what were some really good detoxifying foods, herbs, um, vegetables, just different things so that I could come up with a really good soup. Um, really I was looking for something that would help with digestion, um, that would help with probably bloating because if you ate any dishes that were not gluten free normally, for me at least, um, you can be a little bloated the next day. So um, with all that said, I came up with this udon soup which it's super good and yeah, it, it's, it has a lot of really good benefits to it. So I had some ginger in there which really aids with digestion. Um, I have some lemongrass in there which also is really good for digestion and it helps with bloating and I've also included some bok choy which is also high in fiber and has a lot of anti-inflammatory um, benefits to it so this soup basically it's really good for a post Thanksgiving meal at least I think so I ate it I've been eating it for a couple days now it's done me well so give it a try and I hope you really like this and before I forget if you love this recipe and hopefully many other recipes um, in Nati's Vegan Kitchen, then go ahead and click subscribe on the red box down below and you'll be notified on all the future recipes. Alright, so who's ready to cook some soup?
I hope you guys loved this recipe. It is pretty easy to make. I mean, you just have to chop things and put it in the pot to boil, basically. Um, I do like to cook mine on low after everything's been fully cooked and leave it on low so that the like the ginger and the lemongrass that they release all their nutrients into the liquid so if you have the time it's best to leave it on low to simmer for a little bit longer than what the recipe calls for um, that's just my preference it's not necessary but I think it it, it allows for the, the nutrients to just really come out um, and if you live alone then make a big pot and have a lot of food for the rest of the week. Um, I know Thanksgiving is a lot of cooking and a lot of time in the kitchen, at least for me, and I think I'm still recovering. <laughs> so if you need some meal prep ideas for this week, then there you have it. Alright, see you guys next time!